This nugget is about seeds and seed dispersal. In this nugget, we are going to describe how plants grow after fertilization and explain why seeds are dispersed. The key words we will use include seeds, life cycle, disperse, ovary, fertilization, fruit, and explosion. Making new plants. Reproduction is the process of making new living things. This includes plants. This is the beginning of a new plant's life cycle. Flowers contain pollen and eggs, and these join together to make seeds in fertilization. From each seed, a new plant can grow. So we need to understand how the seed is made and what happens after it is made. During pollination, pollen is carried from an anther of one flower to the stigma of another. It can be done by insects or the wind. After this, fertilization is the joining of the pollen grain and an ovum. The pollen travels into the centre of the flower and joins with an ovum. After fertilisation, a seed is formed. When ready, the seeds need to leave the plant so they can grow into a new plant. Different plants make different types of seeds. You can see here the seeds of different plants. Some have lots of seeds in a small space, some have very small seeds, whereas some have very large seeds. Spreading seeds. All plants need similar resources to grow. Do you remember what these things are? Plants require light, air, water, warmth, and the space to grow. Without these things, the plant will not grow well and maybe even die. So thinking about this, if a seed from a parent plant is spread out or dispersed near the parent, then they will have to share the same resources in order to grow. This might mean that there is not enough space, light, water, or nutrients from the soil for both plants to grow well. Therefore, the seeds need to be dispersed or spread out from the parent plant when they are ready to grow into a new plant. Different plants disperse their seeds in different ways. Do you know some of these ways already? Let's have a look at the different ways plants disperse their seeds. Wind dispersal. Do you know some examples of plants that use wind to disperse their seeds? Seeds that are light can be carried away from the parent plant by the wind. A sycamore tree has special seeds that fly very well. Let's take a closer look at them. Sycamore seeds are very lightweight, but we can also see that sycamore seeds have wings that mean they spin when they are carried by the wind. This means they can be carried further when they are dispersed by the wind. Here is another example of a plant that uses wind dispersal. Have you seen a dandelion before? How does it use the wind to disperse its seeds? Dandelion seeds are both light and fluffy which means the wind can easily disperse them far away from the parent plant. What happens when you blow on a dandelion? The seeds disperse in different directions. Water dispersal. The seeds of a palm tree are called coconuts. They are found near the top of the tree. You may have eaten coconut or drunk coconut milk before. 
but how do you think the palm tree disperses its coconuts? Coconuts can float on water. So, coconuts can be carried by flowing water away from the parent plant as they fall from the tree. Explosion dispersal A pea plant stores its peas, which are the seeds, in special pods. How do you think the peas get dispersed from the pod? The pod splits open suddenly, throwing the seeds away from the plant. And this is an example of explosion dispersal. Animal dispersal How do you think animals could disperse seeds? After an ovum is fertilised by pollen, the petals of a plant may die and the ovary can become a fruit. This fruit can be eaten by an animal. Here we can see examples of fruits with their seeds on the inside and the outside. The avocado seed is very large in the middle, whereas a watermelon has lots of smaller seeds inside it. These fruits can then be eaten by an animal and the seed will pass through the body of the animal, leaving it in the animal's faeces, or poo. This allows the seed to be spread to different places. There is one other way that animals disperse seeds. Some seeds are carried on the animal's fur. These seeds often have little hooks, which means they stick to the animals as they brush past them and get carried away by the animal. This is an example of a burdock seed. Summary In summary, we can now say that a fertilised ovum will grow into a seed. The seeds then need to be dispersed to avoid growing into a new plant too close to the parent plant. And seeds can be dispersed by both wind, water, explosion and animals. The key words we used were seeds, which is the part of the plant that grows into a new plant. Life cycle, the changes that happen as an organism or living thing gets older. Disperse, which means to spread out. Ovary, part of the plant that contains the ova or eggs. Fertilisation, when the pollen grain meets the ovum in the flower. Fruit, something that surrounds the seed that the animals can eat. An explosion, a type of seed dispersal where the seeds are thrown far away from the parent plant out of pods. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to check out more of Century's content. And visit our website to find out about our learning platform.